So today I wanted to talk about the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer. Now that there's been some time between my initial first reaction that I posted on my channel, and I figured that it's worth doing a video just kind of talking about my thoughts on the movie now that I've had time to kind of reflect on everything. Now, my first reaction was born of immense hype and anticipation, as you could imagine. I haven't been this excited for a Marvel movie since No Way Home, and then before that, probably Endgame. Since I've started my channel, you have to understand the movies that have released or the trailers that I've reacted to are The Marvels, Aquaman, Madam Web, and Echo. So, I mean, <laughs> So needless to say, these have been movies that really have been more in the camp of like trying to win me over more so than I'm looking forward to them. That aside, upon reflecting on this trailer, I've watched it a bunch more times. I'm still extremely excited, but there are some concerns, you know, upon talking about this with my friends and seeing other videos. Now, the first thing I'm gonna get to is that this movie has lofty expectations and more expectations than we've ever expected from a Deadpool movie. I think a lot of us realize that Deadpool works best when he plays within his own pocket. Yes, he's technically in the Fox universe, but for the most part, he hasn't really crossed over in any meaningful way with anyone. Sure, there's like a cameo where you see the X-Men. And I will say this trailer is in a way consistent with that. I mean, the TVA looks distinctly different than the TVA we saw in Loki. You got Tom from Succession running the TVA, which we haven't seen before. And so far, everything in the trailer felt pretty damn contained to Deadpool's universe minus on-screen footage of the Avengers from their iconic phase phases one through three movies. So that leads me to believe that there's still a chance that this movie may be in a similar situation just in the Marvel universe where it's its own pocket. You know, I think the thing that really concerns most of us, even though we are excited for this movie, is the prospect that Deadpool is responsible for fixing the MCU, allegedly, according to this trailer. Now that is a massive responsibility and there is a lot of issues in the MCU right now I mean a lot of plot holes inconsistencies and not to mention you got a lot of characters that just people aren't that interested in and I don't know how you can fix that it feels kind of like something that is I, I don't know how Deadpool himself can fix that I guess you could just erase characters by just I guess pruning their timeline I think one of the biggest consequences to doing that would be that nothing moving forward would really matter because it could just easily be undone in this manner if you have this ability to just deadpool things out of existence well you know that has its own issues as well i don't know how that's gonna sit with the audience i could see myself accepting it i could also see myself watching this and being like this is completely ridiculous it's hard because he is a character you can kind of get away with outlandish moves but We've also never pushed that all the way to the limit to see what we can get away with and what sits well and what doesn't. And for sure, this movie could totally do some crazy things and we could end up applauding when the credits roll. But at the same time, there is massive risk. It, it's weird because part of me is kind of like, are they playing in their own pocket with Deadpool and just taking characters and having his own contained story? Or are they going to complete other way with it where this is gonna completely just dramatically affect everything? Both of those possibilities are likely in my mind. There's no confirmation of either one. And I will say in the trailer, they do keep it pretty contained. You don't really see a lot. You know what I mean? Like you see him in his apartment, you see him at the TVA, but otherwise the rest of the trailer mostly seems to take place in one arena, which is that deserty area. And sure, he's fighting the TVA at one point, he's fighting these other people. And then there's that guy that kind of looks like Dr. Doom, but I don't think he is Dr. Doom. He's holding a gun. I don't know why Dr. Doom would need a gun. I digress. This movie is really in one of those rare situations where it has the opportunity to do some massive things, but could also maybe make some changes to the MCU that might not sit well. So, and let's be honest, Deadpool is a comedic element to things. How would that work when that is the element that's in charge of fixing everything? I do know that Ryan Reynolds has a good sense of humor about him. It's really gonna come down to also how much of a sense of humor does Disney Marvel have? Are they willing to laugh at themselves? Are they willing, like how far will they take it? The other element of this is that Deadpool is a rated R property and he's now in charge of fixing essentially 
a bunch of properties that are like what like pg-13 or pg it's it's gonna be i guess maybe it's more for the adults anyway because really the adults are the more discerning audience i mean i don't know how many kids are gonna be like i gotta see deadpool now to see how the mcu is fixed they, they probably love all these movies but yeah it's just a lot of questions that's why i wanted to make a follow-up video i wanted to just dive into that because obviously my initial impressions watching the trailer are of excitement hype anticipation normally i wouldn't be speculating or thinking this deeply about a deadpool movie they he tended to kind of exist very small scale before this i felt it was worth mentioning because that is a massive element of this trailer he's gonna fix the mcu and um there's some big implications that come with that and i definitely wanted to talk about it with that said very excited i am 100 percent going to see this movie as soon as it comes out i'm probably gonna get a whole group of my friends together because if nothing else there's nothing going on this summer this is the movie to watch this is the one to go to the movies for and i haven't been this excited about a marvel movie since like i said spider-man i just hope at the end of the day they give us a good deadpool movie that this doesn't end up becoming a situation where so much expectations were thrusted upon this movie by disney knowing that it was going to draw people to the theaters that it ends up degrading what what Deadpool is or in any way interferes with the enjoyment of a Deadpool movie. That's my thoughts on it, you know, upon reflection. But anyways, I'm gonna throw it to you in the comments now that you've had some time to think about this trailer. What do you think? Do you have any updated thoughts on it? Let me know, I would love to read them. And also a reminder to like this video, it really helps the channel considerably. Maybe consider subscribing if you enjoy the content that I cover on my channel. And as always, my name's Eric Rosas and I hope you all have a fantastic day.